Can I grab space junk from here? No. AFA insurgents. You want to clear up some rebels? Actually, that's a good Go question. That's actually a good question. I'm very curious. I actually want to look at the planet details. Uh, not space defenses. There's no trade routes. Existing buildings. Warzone ground weaponry. Effectiveness on this planet has been boosted. Oh, Federation Ministry. One of the large benefits of being inside the Federation is that the Federation planets get RCI boosts when their values are very negative. The Ministry provides more RCI depending on how negative it is. Okay. Interesting. Ground defense turrets. Oh, that's a lot of ground defense turrets. Construction, no. Constructing an AI enhanced research center. Planetary budget, population. Owner details. No informant, but I have a diplomat with the race. Okay, population's what I'm looking for. Alright, so let's exterminate the AFA. There's no A... This is like nothing. But it won't be tolerated, I guess. AFA. You keep making so many friends, it's amazing that anyone wants to kill us. We can't retreat from this one. They've got us pinned. You built up a lot of ill will in a certain corners of the solar system by all of your work of trying to form a federation. The Anti-Federation Alliance, or AFA, has taken this chance to strike back. If you think you cannot survive, then make sure and put all your efforts into avoidance until such a time as you can withdraw. They have you pinned for a goodly little while either way. So That's the Thraxians, nothing. essentially. It's the Thraxians and maybe the Evox. How oh, weak. And it's not even like they're pinning me. I just take a few shots and they're dead and it's dead. So pathetic. Kill them all. Working on it. It's basically not oh no, it's Burlusts. Oh the ship. Okay, that explains it. So it's like a slight amount of AFA, and that's about it. It's not the Burlust's fault, though. It's just they existed, so it just happened to happen. Acquired Wood Valley Venison Steak Bribe. Mm -hmm. Now I'm curious. Ring World. I want to take a look at the planet details. What buildings do you have constructed? Unique Andor assembly line. In response to the growing Federation threat, the non-Federation Andor support efforts into building advanced assembly lines. One assembly line per Federation planet, in fact. If they later join the Federation, whatever lines they built will remain. However, if they lose their planet, then they will destroy their lines at the very last. Robot citizen assembly rates on this planet change by times three. Armada improved by... Wow. Amazing. I like this. That's actually pretty funny to me. So, we actually got the unique and or assembly line function by just having these guys exist out of the Federation for a little bit. So these guys have actually got a massive population boost. Peltian Collective. Wow. What is your unique? Peltian Super Breeder. Improving their abilities at ground and space combat. One breeder per Federation planet. Since they joined last, they have a massive breeding going on. Federation Ministry. Jesus Christ, the number of mines. All the RCI stuff. They've got bomb shelters for days. The Peltians are at work. The CEOs. Ground defense turrets. Okay, they're, they're working about as hard. And then there's execution industry. Fair enough. Burlusts. Actually, Borings. What do you got? That's right. You have the mire. I remember you had the mire. You want to build and some stuff? 
Thraxians, I think, have the positive one. Yeah, they did. Do you want to make it so the Borings are, like, in a moderate positive stuff by just building several structures on there to counteract the Myers effects? Yeah, let's do it. All right, uh, build structure, build structure, property development. Let's go get you a, because it's a medical university. Is it efficient to build a university, or is it more efficient to do something else? No, it's more efficient to build a university. It's basically going to be a little bit of, a lot of construction on the borings to get them to a point where they can powerhouse their way through it. Oh, and the pirates are basically near extinct. Because everyone hates pirates. Everyone hates pirates and everyone just got off their planets. Alright. So the overall effect of the mire is a massive drop in medical and a massive drop in public order. So if we just counteract this, we can fix most of the issues. So, property development. I mean, if we build a couple of... Oh, wait. Teaching hospital. No, there's no reason not to. Let's just keep building universities. Yeah, let's build universities and also things for public order. And just cancel out the Myers ability. And even create a positive... Effect monthly. Basically make the Borings run away with the game go from their zero to run away with it. Anyway, the Evics are actually starting to get some ground on their on their own as they're finally getting an armada going up. Like their armada's actually going up. Is there a trade between the Federation races? There is some amount of trade. Um let me take a look. Cause I th oh wait, uh, it's planet details. I want to see construction... No, not construction quality or existing buildings. I want to see resources and trade routes. Doesn't seem like there's any trade going on with the Borings. Yet. You want me to try to set up a trade route? Yeah, yes. we should, we should ha have them all trading with each other. That'll improve their economies. No point in bribing specimen. Uh, low interplanetary relations. Local Uther deals. I don't think we have the. I don't think they have the ability to trade. Oh no, because their priority is solar unity. That's right. Yeah. So for right now. There's no capacity for them to do so. My guess is because their economy is not in shambles, so they don't need to trade right now. Let's go back with property development briefly for another university, and so let's see, 16, 16, 16. Yeah, we should have to do have to do some math here, but I think that's 50, 58 in total. If I'm not mistaken. No, it's 48 in total. That still counteracts the Myers effect to a very strong degree when it comes to medicine. And it also makes a fairly positive section on the economy. Alright, Thraxians have more technologies. You know what I haven't done? I need to hire some like underground informants on the Thraxians. And the Burlus gets Terbium Space Power. Peltians of Terbium Space Power. Let us go and quickly... Ooh. Oh no, they would hate me for assassinating the Hive Queen. That's not the Cushions. Oh, sorry. 
Anyway, if we kill the Hive Queen here, there'll be four solar years of turmoil before a new Hive Queen can be born. By turmoil, I mean the attitude of Thraxians towards other races will be dropped by two per month, no births of workers, Thraxian picket ships turning into raid ships, Thraxians refusing to join the Federation until a new queen is established, if then. Oh, and they retaliate. Did I mention, even if they wind up really liking you in the future, they'll keep sending periodic, ass periodic assassins your way? For sport, I guess. Well, there's no Hive Queen, all the workers come to the surface and run around like the maniacs. The protection offered to them by their tunneling networks and any other protection from orbital bombing structures will neutralize when the drones are out in the open. So we actually... So we killed their... Did we just kill their queen? No, I was reading the effects of it. I'm actually going to take a look, because I'm curious. What is their existing building? Other than the Ark... Thraxian Deep Tunnels... Uh, five times protection multiplier for citizens from auto bombing. Five protection multiplier for buildings. Ground troop effectiveness gets an additional plus four on there. So what you're getting at is we need to kill the queen. No, we're not at war yet. There's no point right now. And it would basically do nothing for us. Ultimately. Because it might make it so they might just suddenly kill off several of the Federation, because the Federation is currently too weak if we choose to go to war, if they choose to go all out for whatever reason. Which is why I'm sitting around here doing these property developments, because it makes it so these guys don't suck. And oh my gosh, we can't build another university for right now. Economy changes, medical change. Okay, well, Planetary Historium Museum, let's go! Whoa. Acutians had researched advanced subatomic theory. Okay, so Acutians and Peltians, because they like each other so much... Someone just joined or left us. Oh, it's dark. Oh, okay. How you doing? I'm doing fine. We've got basically more than half the galaxy in the Federation and are currently trying to work partly on the Evox getting in, but we're also fixing up the Boreans so they can actually stand on their own two feet without us babysitting them the entire time. And yes, Dark, the Skylaxians are dead. Unfortunately. Good. Unfortunately? The Thraxians wiped them out. We were originally trying to get them into our Federation while you were gone. They just popped in, wiped them out immediately without us like knowing that they were there. And then when we tried landing resistance fighters on there to get the planet back, the Skylaxians still failed their jobs anyway. And the race got entirely genocide. Yep. Told you they were useless. Appar apparently. Okay. Oh well, there's always next time. Can I? No, I can't bribe you. I I want I want I, I I want to bribe you people, but I can't bribe you people. I can't make you guys just like. Do I have anything? Can I? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Can I do like a free exchange of people? No, I can't. Um, blah, 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 blah. If I, would, uh, if I would just assist with armada construction, it would make them hate us a little bit less. So if we wanted to even try doing the voting BS that we were planning on doing before. Does anyone feel betrayed? No one feels betrayed so far. Good god, I need 450 influence at the race. Excuse me, but what? God. Simple, you just need to fix all their problems. Fix all their problems. Yes, every single one. I know, this hurts. They're only, okay, medical desperation. The Thraxians are only making more outposts. Which I'm is... surprised the bugs lasted so long. No, because they're one of the physic. They're like one of the biggest empires out there right now, and that's the problem. Is we can't just we can't just wipe them out because currently we have a lot of our own races that are basically faffing about uselessly. Sad times. Hang on. So if we imp not improve the local environment, but oh, we can't expand usable areas from them. Darn, never mind. 
Ah, uh, what the heck do I want? You know what? Hey, Ander Parliament. General Agenda. What was this going to do? Pretty awesome. Let's spread the word to you and your friends. No, I don't need that for the Acutians. I want this on the Evex. Evex versus Peltians. Friendly to friendly. Improves. It's not helpful. No. That, that was pointless. Acutians, you like trade. Services. There's no reason to do tariffs. Is there a way to get trade from this person? Technical. Not at all. Real estate. No. Retail trade. Broker trade route. CEO of transportation. We're not going to broker a... Splunt does not have 700 plus monthly production of any resource to trade away. Okay. So I'd have to get another planetary business elite by making several of these services actually not fail. That's annoying. I mean... Oh wait, what is their medical like? The medical is enormous, never mind. We can't touch that. Oh, their environment... Okay. So, stepping back and taking a big look at everything that's going on down here. If we wanted to start a negative trend, one of the few ways we could actually get the Evix to join us is to have them have a medical, like, massive medical issue where they have to basically force them to join us in order to do that for the Evex. And in order to do so, we would basically have to pollute, uh, basically poison local populace to an insane degree. For the greater good. However, it would not dr ever drop it low enough. That could be an issue. Because it needs to go to negative 2,000. <laughs> yeah, it's an issue. Haven't meddled with Epic Affairs so far. Federation deals vote to... Uh, God. Oh, are the bugs contained? The bugs are contained so far. They have several space bases, if you guys want me to just blow them up again. You probably should. All right. It's looking at that map, I don't like them having so much. Fine, blowing up all their stuff again. Um, since everything is in range as far as why are there Peltians here? Do I just have Traitors? A, I have no, no, not at all. I, I have a Peltian ally who's just blowing up the station. I guess. Sure. I'll, I won't bother looking a gift horse in the mouse. If I'm just going to have a random Peltian for no reason here fighting. We'll have a random Peltian for no reason here fighting. And I'll even drop Operation Clay to make this a little bit easier on me, just so we can have this, some shots going out. I just love their ability to just clear the entire field for me. Oh, good lord, the Peltines are just destroying everything. Good god. Everything's well, just already dead. That was easy. Jesus. Alright, um... Let's capture the science outpost, and we'll probably just donate it again to one of our federal... You know, we'll donate it to the Epics, because why not? What is over here? Is there anything like... I can't even see that because they don't let me go that far. Um, You know what we're going to do? We're just going to politely triple range really quick. And we'll just clear everything before we even get there. Auto fire away!
Well, whatever that missile was, it was a very painful one. As it should be. Oh, there's two of them that were just stacked on top of each other, I guess. Oh, I can see it now. Yeah, there were, in fact, two of them just stacked on top of each other for no reason. I'll even just proc Operation Clay and clear everything off. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, drop our weapons to nothing, boost our engines to insane degrees, so I can just immediately just turn on a dime. And then boost our shields, and don't move. Ever. And of course my ship decides to move anyway. Aren't I a lucky, lucky man? Where's the last science outpost? Hmm. Is that just free stuff to just blow up? Always good to blow up things. I guess. It's an interesting objective. Although we should not get in the artillery line. I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, it's a good okay. idea if you want to go to the next world. Yes, it's a good idea if I don't want to, but I kind of have a fetish of not dying. So if you don't mind me, I'm going to indulge upon that, like, now. Because their shots apparently pierce my hull. Alright, and let's put our shields back up to maximum, and put our weapons up a little bit, and continue auto-fire. We're going to swap to the minigun and fire on you. Hopefully the explosion isn't that big. Where are these ships coming from? Are they just popping in? I'm going to go away from the chemical storage. Okay, it didn't blow up the way I thought it would. Ah, that's just a free hydro ion cannon that I didn't even know existed. Sure, I'll take it. Free things are always nice. There's so many of these just ion cannons floating around for no reason that I would gladly make use of. This is probably the first time I'm actually able to make use of it without, like, dying horrifically. Why am I not just... Full speed ahead. Are you making sure to use triple? I already used it. Okay, good. That didn't kill me. Okay, if I could drop this... Don't move. Do not deviate. Why are you still moving? No. Stay. Okay, good. All right. Borings like us. Burlus like us. Avex like us a little bit more. Thraxians have been escaped. Or Thraxian pilots happen to escape from there. And we now possess a science outpost, which we are going to immediately donate this one to the Avex. We want to get yep. them on our side. They won't be able to, like, hold on to it, but something. It's a thought. 
It's always the thought that counts. Friendly actions. Let's... T I don't know. We can't property develop yet, and that's the biggest problem. Because as soon as we can do some property development... Oh, planet details. Evoke Crystal Cities. That's right, because they also get bonuses of this sort, which is why they're able to hold off so well. Because they're at war with the only other non-Federation race. They only barely don't like us, so if we just mine their uncolonized moon for a little... No. Like, improve their local environment for a little while. They won't hate us as much. And when they stop hating us, we can actually do some property development. And maybe make their stuff, like, useful. Alright, guess what? They don't detest us anymore. We can actually Yay. do property development. And what I was going to do for this, because if we... This little thing I never actually did. What we can actually do is we can build certain structures and improve their attitudes towards specific races. One of those is the Acutians. And if they like each other enough, we can actually pull off the back door anyway. But the real question is, is what do we have? Hologram channel reality programming. Which gets a bonus for Acutians and Burlus, but drops Skylaxians and Andors. Is it one that just boosts... Is it one that boosts Acutians and Burlusts, but drops Skylaxians and Thuraxians? But that doesn't matter, so if you want to just build arm a couple arms dealers... You want to build a couple arms dealers and make it so we get slightly closer to the uh, backdooring? Sounds like a good idea. Yes, back door is always great. One arms dealer on the way. Thraxians have gotten fragmentation submunitions. Sorry if I sound uh, distracted. I'm doing some studying. A lot of people are. A lot of people are doing stuff right now, but the stream welcomes all. And it's always just nice to hear this in the background. Yeah, we're all working together to solve problems. We all vote. Only when there's an important choice, really. True, then we discuss things. I did leave their Thoraxian factory still up. However, I swear, we should one day play Hearts of the Iron, all as the same country. Oh god. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea, and no, I like it. I, I would rather say <laughs> we do Crusader Kings. We do Crusader As the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, no. Um, we do Crusader Kings all under some far-off little area, but we all choose little lords, and you're all subservient to me. You'd, so, you'd, you'd destroy me very easily, but... Yes, because I'm actually quite good at Crusader Kings. I know how to bullshit my way to any throne. <laughs> I literally accidentally bullshitted myself onto the Byzantine Empire. Destroyed my empire because I went over the vassal limit, but I still managed to do that on accident. Ugh, another computer. One day I'll get around to buying the game. Really One deadly, day. But it sure is going to put a dent in their industry. It's a good game. Yeah, I'll probably buy it within the next month or so once I work up the funds. Do we all have the oh. 4 I. I do not have Europa. Sorry. So the only game we all have, I think it's Hearts of Iron? I don't have Hearts of Iron either. I only Stellaris. have Crusader Kings. I have Stellaris. Okay. We all play Stellaris together. <sighs> Currently doing so, unfortunately. And I'll After have... you get done with the Great Race in the next patch. Fair enough. Disease appears with the Acutians of LXA. That or... I don't know. Let's see... Let's finish Let's up the property development. Hmm. 
No one expects the couriers. The couriers? <laughs> it's a meme I found on Google Plus. Who uses Google Plus? No one. That's why. That's probably why the meme's not as well known. Most well, likely. how about Warframe? That intergalactic traveling and mucking it up. We can try uh, AI Warplate Command. Please don't kill me. Which one do you warf bet, uh, more buy in, Stellaris or Crusader Kings? Both of them equal. Crusader Kings depends what you like playing. Stellaris is. A 4X with a bit of grand strategy flavor. Well, Crusader Kings, you're playing as a fucking medieval lord. Crusader Kings is more grand strategy than 4X. Hmm. And Crusader Kings, you can genocide religion. Where, oh, where is. Fun times. Okay, so I just can't make a vaccine. I forgot how I could get the ability to make a vaccine. Catch the accusion... disease? Question mark? No, unfortunately that's not how that works. I wish it was. Um, how about cooperative research? Can we work together on a vaccine on your own people? Apparently not. Hmm. Oh, actually, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm just going to do, a, like, a little quick research thing on the Acutians, just because it's a fast research. And in case the Thoraxians do appear on here, we, they'd be able to hold off the Thoraxians. It basically, it's just for mutual defense. Anyway, um, let's going to go back to building more stuff... Can I build? Yes, I can continue to build arms dealers. Why do they keep making more outposts? We just keep blowing up their outposts again and again. Population control. I guess. Some primitive form of it, at least. Well, they know that if they set up a base in, uh, base in space, they'll just blow them up. So they just put as many as they can on a ship, and that deals with the problem. Okay, the Boreans are actually spreading out some more defenses. Or they're sp choosing to spread more defenses to every single race. What is up with the Peltians? And why are they... Where are their fleets? Are they just sending them everywhere? Oh god. Uh, depressurization event. Manufacturing outpost. Defensive ships have left... Because of the depressuring turning the station derelict, the station is now free for the taking. Which one? Uh, let us go and take this station and fix it? Do you want to repair the Acutian's outpost? It's a dumb question, I, I know. Yes. Alright. What's your mind? And I'll just give this outpost back to the Acutians. For almost nothing at all, the Acutians now think of us as more godly than anything else.